All right, here we've got Nexomon Extinction on Nintendo Switch. Uh, this review code is courtesy of uh, P-Cube uh, Limited, so thank you guys very much for the review opportunity. So uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on where I left off. So I've got two, about two hours of gameplay worth in the game here. Um, it feels much longer because of uh, of how involved the game uh, the game can be. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look here. So we've got your team of Nexomon. So this gameplay is very similar to Pokemon um, in that you have Nexomon that you battle. The difference, the the main difference between Pokemon in this game that I've that I've seen outside of the of course the art style. Um, is the differences or the the variety of of, of um, types of, uh, of Nexomon? So here I've got a normal type, a ghost type, a grass type, psychic type, and a fire type. Um, and then each each Nexomon has skills uh, and cores. So if I were to click on or select say a uh, poil here, so you've got cores. And you can um, you can select core, which will give a various boost or ability to your Nexomon. So, for instance, uh, this one here boosts HP by 55 percent. This one boosts experience by 7 percent. So the Nexomon will uh, will level up slightly faster uh, than the rest of them. Um, and you can give each of them a nickname. You can set as a main Nexomon. Um, this is the one I started out with. This is uh, uh, Mes Mes Mesquiti, I guess I could say it. I went ahead and gave it a bunch of cores. I gave it uh, I gave, I gave it 25% experience received by the team members without having to fight. Uh, boost experience per earned by 13%. Uh, another one, um, another 25% one. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to remove these two. And actually do that one and then give oops <laughs> I'm gonna give security one of the cores here one of the synergy cores and then I'm gonna give um, I'll give stinger the other one just because I don't use them very much. I don't use those ones, those next one very much. Um, as you can see by the levels, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so we're actually going to go ahead oh, and set Mosquiti as the main. And then you've got inventory. So this is your, uh, these are your items. Uh, and then you've got these are the uh, Nexo traps, similar to, to Pokeballs. So you've got the Nexo trap, which is a basic tool you capture a wild Nexomon. Go the Nexo trap. Um, it's a perfect one, lets you uh, capture a Nexomon no matter what. Plant type. Um, Nexo trap designed to capture plant type Pokemon. Okay, so it's not plant, it's plant, not grass. But yeah, you get the idea. Psychic Nexo Trap, Nexo Trap designed to capture Psychic Trap Nexomon. So, these ones give a slight bonus to, or a slight edge in capturing those uh, those types of, uh, of Nexomon. Provided that you're having a hard time doing it with like, a regular Nexo Trap, or if you don't have any Golden Nexo Traps. And then here are your cores. And then here's your shards. Shards are used uh, for crafting or selling. And then here's your... Uh, Here's your food. These are um, these are used to help catch Nexomon. Okay, and then you got profile. So you can change your avatar. You can change your name. You can have a follower Nexomon once you unlock it. Here's your journal. So these are your um, your quests. Here's the two quests I have currently. The green ones are ones that you've completed. And here's your main adventure. So it's the frozen lake. Keep following Videl. She is somewhere south of that lens. So yeah, so I'm not I'm not too far into the game. As you can see, I did a lot of a lot of running around um, and trying to trying to level up. 
which is why I'm not too far in the game. But so you look at system. So system here, you have save, load, sound effects, volume, music, volume, auto save enabled, uh, language, load checkpoint, and exit title screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how the game plays here. So you got the analog stick or the D-pad to move your character around. And then you've got the X button to access your main menu. So the way that the wild X mod encounters work is that if you have a, a wiggly tuft of, of bush there, you walk up to the bush and you just like go into a go into a battle. So we've got a uh, Charent at level six. So here's your menu with there, the, the right hand corner there. Your left hand corner gives you your stats for your Nexomon. And we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and fight him here. So here you've got the, the stats and what each attack does right there for you, which is really neat. I like that. I like you don't have to go into a menu to see that, it's right there for you. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just attack with mind control. And he is an electric type. So actually I might yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to get him. I'm gonna try to get this one. So let's go ahead and try Poil. So I'm not trying to kill him, I just wanna bring him down to a point where I can actually capture him. Okay, so one more attack should do it, I think. Yep, okay. So now, uh, in order to capture, you're going to press and hold either L and R or the left and right triggers. So you can either feed the Nexomon, which will up your chances of capture. and Or you can just go straight to the Nexo Trap. So I'm going to go ahead and feed it. I'm going to try feeding it a Peach. Oh, okay. Well, wow, that's cool. That didn't work. Okay, that's okay. So we're gonna go into Nexo Trap. Um, I'm gonna go into regular Nexo Trap because I have a lot of those. Now, what's cool about this this sequence is, is that it comes up with a button combination, and you have to press those buttons in sequence um, in order to enhance your chances of of capture. All right. So a b a y x x. Cool, got him. And that'll give you the stats of the Pokemon, or some Pokemon to the next time on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send it to the party. All right, so now we got a uh, Charent, cool. So these right here, these are warp stones. Um, these allow you to teleport around the world once you unlock it. I don't have the ability yet use those and then you have wild tamers you can come up against or come across that you have to fight or you can choose to fight um, one thing this game is lacking and now it may be where it may it may be that I don't yet have it unlocked but there's no map <laughs> there's no map Uh, one thing I do like about this game is how uh, is how it tends to break the fourth wall. Like it knows it's a game, <laughs> and it's 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 pretty cool to to see that. We'll go and visit the merch just because. Hello, it's first time meeting. You. Yeah, the name's Sasha. I'm a traveling merchant. Special selection of elemental and extra traps. I don't carry every element though. 
Those are great, but I heard that traveling merchants charge way too much for them. Well, duh. <laughs> They're super difficult to create and carry around. If you really want to save money, you have to mine elemental shards and then find a crafter to produce the extra traps. Huge waste of time, buddy. <laughs> you aren't paying for an extra trap, you're paying for convenience. So, are you going to spend hours making extra traps or <laughs> perhaps support the local economy? Okay, let's see. I want a discount. A uh, discount? It's fine, but only this one time. I won't rip you off. Next time we meet, no more discounts. Cool. Okay. Wow, yeah, it's way expensive. Yeah, the regular, actually, I think the regular extra trap, that's about right, I think, for that. But these ones seem a little expensive, so I'm actually curious to see what happens if you buy it at regular price. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a couple of uh, water next to traps, though. We're going to go ahead and do... Yeah, uh, I have all the money. Let's do two, I guess. Sure. Okay, now, can I sell? No. I can't. Dang it. Okay, well, that's all we're going to do then. I'm a traveling merchant, so I might not be here in the near future. Okay, cool. So, um, in addition to... Now, that's that's a stone that shield my uh, my Nexamon. So, in addition to the... Um, there we go. To the uh, rocks you can break to get shards, you get... There's um, golden uh, lights around, the, or little light symbols around the... The map like you just saw that gives you uh, a hand that there's a hidden item there and then here right up there there's a there's a, a tamer battle I'm gonna go ahead and do that Ugh, what do you want huh I'm very stressed right now with the cavern frozen it's much harder to extract them little shards now and your face is isn't we come down so as you see there are there are a couple of uh, spelling or uh, grammatical errors but it's okay Still a fun game. All right, so we got a uh, Tesling, which is electric, versus my Mosquiti. Okay, let's go ahead and do mind control. I'll do mind control again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually heal him. My control. Now, with each attack, it does use stamina. As you can see, the stamina does go down. If the next one um, lists all of its stamina, you have to wait a couple of turns in order to uh, continue attacking. So, something to keep in mind. I'm even more annoyed now. Thanks to you. Just leave. I'm busy playing my trip into the cavern. Be careful and protect me from any hostile like someone. The last thing I need is to end up stuck with a broad steamer and his weird cat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Perfect berry. Uh, I really do like the uh, the little um, uh, emote faces, which <laughs> they're kind of cool to see. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and since we're in an ice cave, I'm going to try to see if I can. Boost Stinger up a bit here. Oh, uh, sorry, it's water crap. We didn't want to do that. We wanted electric, so we're actually going to want Churrent here instead. Hey, 
And you'd th- and as you would think, the elements do um, they do overpower the like you would expect. So it's gonna be more effective against uh, water. Clearly. <laughs> Cool, Stinger leveled up. Security leveled up. And yes, when they level up, they do earn, uh, they do learn new moves. I really need to stop having him be in my party because he's not going to be very effective. Well, excuse me, being the main Exo Monk, he's not going to be very effective. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Okay, I don't have... I'm actually going to give him these cores while we're in here. And then I'm going to actually take this core off of Stinger and give it to Churrent. Because without, because I think I think that core gives them the percentage of experience points, even if they do fight. So we're gonna keep that there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually heal him. There we go. Okay. You know, I'm actually also gonna give him a uh, ether to give him his stamina back. There we go, okay. Oh, cool. Nice puzzle. Hey, that was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> going to puke. Why can't we only move in four directions? Okay, let's go ahead and get some some battles here. Ooh. Okay. And of course, I don't have a water type. Why would I have a water type? Let's see if this is of any... Okay, that's 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 good. With that again, hopefully it'll kill him. Yep. Cool. Resurrection is leveled up. Cool. Wait, there's an entrance there. Go away. There we go. Never mind. I thought, I thought it was. That looks like it would be a freaking. Um, a doorway you can go through. That's what is that? That's, huh? <laughs> okay. There, there it is. Well, I have to admit that things went rather smoothly after all. You know what? Oh, you can see, you're not so bad. <laughs> I spoke too soon. I hate the two of you. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. <laughs> Fidel. Oh, jeez. If Melly finds out about this, she's not going to pay us. We we shouldn't panic just yet. If we get our story straight, we can change our names and start new lives far away from the city. We must rescue her. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> I've got a rope. We can use you down there. We better hurry up, though.
Okay, we can get these shards real quick here. Okay. So yeah, shards are pretty abundant. Next traps are pretty abundant. What's not really abundant are gonna be the potions. Uh, and ethers. Um which is unfortunate because they're they're pretty expensive. <laughs> which is why I don't have a lot. Okay, and we're gonna go down here. Really? Okay, so that's bad. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> hey, that's Fidel. Who did this to her? I've got a bad feeling. We should leave and ask for help. Oh, you ain't going anywhere. It's a little lonely in this cavern. Stay a little longer, kitty. Hey, that's just a girl. We have nothing to fear. <laughs> well, 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 ain't this quite the jackpot? One, two, three, poor souls, exactly what I needed. With this many hostages, the guild will think twice before coming after me and Nivalis. And no, Nivalis, no, no, that, 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 that's, that's a tyrant. That's right. <clears throat> ha, my Nivellus is the invincible tyrant of frost. Themers of the guild have been chasing us to no end, but now I have the upper hand thanks to you. We can't win against tyrant. <laughs> we need to get out. Come on. So I'm, I'm presuming, based on the on how this is playing out, that the tyrants are legendaries in the world of Pokemon. So the Tyrants and Exumon are legendaries of Pokemon, so that makes sense. <laughs> Just try to run away. What about your friend, Punk? And you call yourself Tamers of the Guild, so sad. Eek. This is the end. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try... Oh. Cool. He's got 95 health. I may be able to get it, to get it done. Really? Oh, that's good. Pfft. This is a really ridiculously high level. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I, I don't stand a chance. Nope, oh, wiped out. Well, we'll try. Nope. I think this is where all of my next one are gonna be wiped out. Okay, so we're gonna try this one. I'm just gonna. Oh. Yeah, this isn't a battle. I'm, I'm, in, I'm going to win. It's not one that. I'm sorry, I meant to win this. It's okay. Part of the story. Unless it's one of these things where it should have leveled up before coming in here. But I don't think so. Um, I should have done that at the beginning. <laughs> hey, I might just win this thing. I doubt it.
Wow. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that at all. That was... That's awesome. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get rid of Scratch. Wow. That was pretty awesome. That was really awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the review here, guys. This has been uh, Nexomon on Nintendo Switch. Um, I want to thank PQ for the review code. This game's amazing. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, it's available on Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and I believe also PS4 and Steam. Um, definitely worth checking out if you guys are fans of Pokemon. You can watch. Pick this game up. Uh, it's it's definitely worth it. So, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.